Thank you. Shalom. Good morning, people of God. Welcome to our show, In His Presence, a show brought to you by Rafa TV, which is led by Prophet Isaka in the ministry of Shekinah Glorious Faith Ministries. You know, we call this show In His Presence because when you come into the presence of God, God heals you. God delivers you, God opens up the book, and God ministers to his children in a mighty, mighty way. So we call this ministry as the Solution Center, because when you come into the presence of God, surely there's a solution for whatever hindrance, whatever trouble, whatever sickness is troubling you. God has a solution for you. And we know that God can never fail his children. So here in Shekinah Glorious Faith Ministries, we have this show in his presence where we highlight the different kinds of ministries we have seen, how God has been able to touch his children in different ways. So in today's show, we're going to show you that distance is not a barrier. Distance is not a barrier. We're going to see how our prophet is in another country and the lady is sitting at home, but the family was healed. Isn't God amazing? So you don't have to be in the ministry to actually get healing. But as you connect in faith, God will do it for you. God will bring solution to that trouble. So even you, my brother and sister at home, and you're not able to come to the ministry, which is here in Johannesburg. You're not able to come here. But as you connect in faith, as you watch the show, and as you watch how the healing happens, as you connect, God will do it also for you. So don't despair. Don't be discouraged. Distance is truly not a barrier for our God in Jesus' name. So let us go forth and watch the video. Oh, somebody. Yes, sister, how are you? I'm fine, man of God. Ah. Wow, wow, wow. My child is sick. Happy, happy Easter for you. Is that what? My, my baby is sick. Your baby is sick? How? Yes, from the doctor. And we, the doctor gave us a, a letter to go to the screen. To the scan. What kind of sickness is your daughter, is your baby? He's coughing and he, he has a, sorry. he's coughing and he has sinus and again, breathing problem again. Okay, go fetch water in your house. Do you have the, do you, fetch water, fetch water for me there. Go okay. fetch water. Get water in a container or in a cup. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Father, I thank you. Lord, I consecrate this water. And I pray for your child for healing. Father, any water, a bitter water of Mara, he must have drunk or he might have taken from the womb, from the outside. Whatever is not found in you, Father must never be found in him. I consecrate this water in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is a spiritual injection and spiritual tablet. By the doctor, use it. Let that son be completely healed. Here and now. Instant Amen. testimony. In the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. In Amen. Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. Now, Amen. listen. Take that water. Look at that water. Breathe into it. Now listen, I didn't tell you to give it to him to drink. Don't give to him to drink. Take a little. Take a little in your hand and drop the water. A little in your hand. Do you have it in your hand? Yes, man of God. Make sure you drop the water. Make sure you drop the water far. Drop the water far from you. Don't hold it with you. 
Now, clean your own face. Your own face. Clean your own face. Do you have sinus? No. Clean your own face. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Father, I release healing upon thy God on your son right now. As this face is being clean, as the mother is clean, no sinus, no coughing, so shall the boy be, so shall your son be. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Be free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. 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 Yes. Thank you, Lord. 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 Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Now look at your son. Look at your son. Look at your son. Look at your son. Now touch the head and clean his face. Clean his face. Clean his face. Say you are healed. You are healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now give him the water to drink, and that's all. No sinus, no sinus, no coughing, nothing. Your son is completely healed. Just a little. It's enough. Keep the rest. Boy, you are healed. Yeah, you are healed. Glory to God. Brothers and sisters, you have seen how the mother was complaining, so worried about the young child that you know he, she's gone to the doctor, he's coughing, he's got sinus, he's got breathing problems. You know, this was troubling her. And then, glory to God, she connected on Zoom and our prophet located her. And then this is what happened. So as, as, as she was explaining the situation, and has the doctor's report. You know, our prophet said, what is the sickness that they have called it? And she, could, she, she didn't answer. She didn't know. But she started listing a whole lot of things that he's been going through that's been troubling her. All right? And then our prophet says, get water. Get what? Water from the tap. So the mother went and she collected water from the tap. And then our prophet, he consecrated the water. He prayed over it. Our God can use any medium, brothers and sisters. And water is pure. We know water heals. We know we should be drinking water because water is cleansing. So in this case, our prophet said, let us get water. And he prayed over the water. And then he said, don't give it to the boy to drink. That is not the instruction from heaven. That is not the instruction from God. And so he told her, step away a little bit and put the water in your hand. And then start washing your face. Washing her face. You might ask yourself, you know, why must she be the one to wash her face? He, she's not the one who's sick. But it's the child that's been going to the doctor. It's the child who's suffering the cough and the sinus and all these things. But the man of God said, no, the mother must wash her face for she doesn't have sinus. He said, you don't have sinus, so you wash your face. And with that very same hand, wash his face and you will see instant testimony. Sinus will leave the boy. No more coughing for God has done it. And then um, she washed the boy's face and then she gave him, the instruction was to give him small to drink. And the boy, he drank the water. And we will see, brothers and sisters, that truly there was an instant testimony. The boy is healed. 
the boy has recovered, the boy no longer has any sinuses because distance is not a barrier. Our God speaks. God is not contained in any house. God is not contained by any barrier. Our prophet is in another country. We are here in South Africa. These people are both in the individual residence. They're not in the church even. But because of internet, how we've been able to connect via Zoom, how the platforms have been made available so that even in the comfort of your own home, you too will receive your healing. You too will receive your deliverance. How amazing is this God? A lot of times we can, you know, we can speak badly about technology, but look how God, he makes everything work for, his, for the children, for your good. Isn't that wonderful? God can use any medium. God will heal you and God will deliver you even at your gate, even at your home. But connect in faith and seek the presence of God. Seek the face of God in that, in that situation. God cannot fail you. Yes, shalom brothers and sisters. We have seen how our prophet used the medium of water in this instance to heal that young boy from the discomforts he was having, the sickness he was having, which is a sinus. He was having trouble breathing, you know. He was coughing. And they had gone to the doctor. They had gone to the hospital. And the doctor had said, let us do a scan. Let us understand this further. But the mother in faith, you know, she said, God can do it. She decided she will connect, even on the Easter Monday, she will connect to the ministry and trust that God will touch her family. And look as God located her. Our prophet located her and spoke into the situation. And she was able to say that the child was suffering from these issues. And then the water was used and the boy, he drank some. So now we're going to go back to the video and then we're going to see what else happened as the boy drank that water. But my brothers and sisters, like I said, don't be discouraged. Distance is not a barrier. All that happened in their home. The mother and the child were in their home. Our prophet was in another country, in his home, not in the church. So internet our platforms, Rafa TV, connect, Facebook, connect. God knows the day he will locate your problem. God knows the day he will want to wipe away your tears. So don't be discouraged. Don't trouble yourself to say, I wish I can go there. Yes, it is good. It would be good for you to come. But have faith enough to know that God can do a complete job can do a complete healing a complete recovery for you in your home where you are as you connect in faith so let us go to the video and watch what happens after the boy has had the water i healed in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ amen now give him the water to drink and that's all no sinus no sinus no coughing nothing your son is completely healed just a little is enough. Keep the rest. Boy, you are healed. You are healed in Jesus' name. Say amen. Amen. Yeah, you are healed. No more. It's instant, instant healing, instant testimony. Now, amen. instant testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, you must go to the church on Sunday. Where do you stay? Where do you so live? We are okay, in so You must, must go to the church on Sunday to give testimony. Please don't fail. Amen. So we have seen how the mother gave the boy the water to drink and the boy drank and the mother said, my child, you are healed. And the boy responded to say, amen. And we know amen means let it be so. Let it be so. And it was so indeed in Jesus name. Our prophet even declared to say, this problem is now over. That problem that the family was having 
it's now over. That coughing, it's over. That sinus, it's the past. It's gone in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. He even declared that, you know what? A testimony is coming. She must not fail to testify this Sunday because all this happened via Zoom. She was at home. It's on Zoom. And he is in America on Zoom. And now, an instant testimony. And she must come and testify at the church to declare the glory of God and what the Lord has done for her. We know that God loves our testimony. God wants us to always celebrate when he's done great things for us. And God is always doing great things. So never be afraid to testify. Always celebrate and showcase the work of God in your life. In Jesus' name. So now we're going to go to the video. We're going to see how the family came on that very Sunday. Remember, this happened on Easter Monday. So on that very Sunday, the family came to testify, to give God the glory for the peace that they now have, how the doctor has declared them healed. So now we're going to go to the testimony and hear more. of God, Emmanuel. Indeed, God is with us in this house. Amen. My name is Rosanne Fensino Vondre. Beside me is our child, Mukundine Vondre. Amen. I'm here to glorify the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. On Monday, the prophet located me I couldn't come here at the service on Monday because uh, on Sunday night we couldn't sleep. Uh, the child was very sick. He was coughing nonstop the whole night, crying. So in the morning, I just woke up and went to the doctor. When I went to the doctor, the doctor said to me that the child has uh, asthma. So he knows when the child cough, normally when I went, went to the doctor, when he say, your child has an asthma, I said, doctor, no, I don't have a child who has a do uh, asthma. So on Monday, he said, your child has an uh, asthma. So I couldn't say anything to him. He just wrote a letter and said, you have to go to the scan because he knows that I refuse. Amen. So I took the, the letter and I, I went back home. And my heart was like I was supposed to be at church. But I said, oh God, I will connect here at home. And I thank God because my husband just uh, have a grace. We have Wi-Fi at home. So whenever I couldn't go come to church, I just connect. Amen. So I connected immediately when I came back, the service was on. So I sat down and connect. The service was on, there were prayers being made and everything then. Uh, around the service, prophet located me and I was the first one whom he located. So he said, what is your problem, sister? And I told him that my child is sick. So I went to the doctor and the doctor gave me a letter to go to scan. This is the letter that the doctor gave me. I just made a copy because when you go to the scan, they took the letter and they won't give you back. So I made the copy so that I can glorify the name of the Lord. Amen. So I promised the, the prophet that I will come and testify. He said to me, do not fail. This is an uh, immediately testimony. Make sure that you come in son, and, or on Sunday and testify. That is why I am here. Hallelujah. Full of God, we can see the child standing in front of us. He is healed. Hallelujah. Let us praise the Lord. Not even once I was looking carefully 
truly if he is healed. Not even once did he clear his throat. Not once did he cough. It shows that when Jesus Christ heals, he heals completely. Those who are in the congregation, I heard some were coughing. I believe this testimony is for you. Amen. Amen. Sister, we can see the child is healed. We showed us the documentation of the child confirming that he had an issue of sickness. Is there documentation to truly confirm that he is well? As you can see, people of God, this is the scan. The scan shows that everything is normal. The heart, the lungs, there is no any uh, symptoms of asthma on him. As you can see, the scan is showing that everything in his, his body is normal. Amen. So, as we can see, as you're paging through documents, we see the x-ray scans, but not everyone is a doctor. Is there an official documentation that states that? Oh, yes, there is. Hallelujah, people of God. Amen. Amen. We praise the Lord. Sister, we believe that you have many more testimonies. May you please continue with sharing your testimony. All right. Thank you for watching the testimony. You have seen how God has done it, how the boy is healed, how the boy is no more coughing, how the doctor's report even says, uh, let me just read the doctor's report. The doctor's report is, is very good. The doctor, after they've even gone to the doctor for the final checkup, the doctor says the lung volume are normal. Glory to God. The lung fields are clear. The heart looks normal. Wow. All the issues, the sinus are gone. God has taken it away and we give all the glory to God for his wonderful works in his family. In this family, God has done it and he's done it instantly. So trust God even in your life. Trust God with that situation, with that problem, with that sickness. Do not allow yourself to live with it. Do not allow yourself to say, no, my father had the same thing. Now I have the same thing. So it's a family sickness. Don't allow yourself to attach yourself to, to these sicknesses. It's not your portion. It's not your portion. You saw how the how prophet told the mother, wipe your face. You don't have sinus. Wipe your face. Wash your face with that water. And then because you don't have sinus, we declare that this boy is healed and anything that is not of God is removed. So sickness is not from God. Sickness is not from God. That cancer, that disease, that affliction, it's not God's, God's portion for you. Don't allow yourself to live with it. Don't allow yourself to live with that frustration, that depression. No, it's not your portion. It's not the will of God. A lot of people are blaming God. They say, God, he doesn't answer my prayers. No, God will answer. God is willing. You know, I remember the story in Matthew 8, verse 2, where a leper came to Jesus and he said, if you be willing, Jesus, if you are willing, please cleanse me from this leprosy. You know, Jesus said, I am willing. He said, I'm willing, be healed. And he was healed. So know that God is always willing to heal you. Know that God is always willing to answer that problem. Know that God is always willing to bring solution to that problem. Come to the presence of God. He's able and he's willing. And distance, like we said, it's not a barrier. Don't force yourself now if you're not able to come here. But as you are watching, trust that God knows the problem. And yield it unto him. Put it at the feet of God. And God will surely not fail you. God will answer. God will speak to you towards that situation. But please connect on Rafa TV. Because a lot of times we can pray on our own and things don't happen. Hence, God gave us prophets. God gave us Elijah. 
God gave us Elisha. Many prophets of God have come to bring solution for the things that we cannot see. And God has made himself manifest using these people. Allow yourself to connect to this ministry and receive your healing. And receive your deliverance. Receive your breakthrough. There is no limit to what God can do in your life. Trust him and trust him completely. He is truly willing and he is truly able. So please connect with us again on In His Presence, on Rafa TV, and we are here also at Shakana Glorious Faith Ministries in Johannesburg. You are welcome. The gates of God are open for you. God is willing. God is able. And he is always, always ready to do good to his children. And you are one of them. So shalom and God bless you. We'll see you next time. Bye.